Hello YouTube and welcome to my little corner of the internet. Tonight is another throwback Thursday and first let me offer an apology for not uploading last Thursday but I have a severe attack of the man flu. So I'm back, back with another three sets from the 1970s. We will be doing number 660, 661 and 662. Now I have to make a small apology beforehand because when I was picking the bricks for these three builds I discovered that I was missing some parts. Now I did consider should I then do some other sets or should I continue in the numerical order that I had decided and I came to the conclusion that I would keep the order so today some of the sets will be missing parts but I have made a bricklink order and those parts should hopefully come very soon. But first, let's begin with set number 660, a car with a plane transporter from 1975 with 33 parts. And one of the parts is an old favorite of mine. Now, this one. I have, I believe, three of these, and I remember using them extensively when I was a child, playing with those. But first off, I've got a nice red car to tow the trailer. Let's see. Now, as with the previous, two, four, six, eight, ten studs, just as usual. Now, a nice red car and A really cute little aeroplane. But as you can see, I'm missing the propeller. As soon as they arrive, I will make an update video on the vintage sets missing parts. But so far, we have the car with a trailer, the small aeroplane. Now the third set, sorry, second, the second set, number 661, is an absolute favorite of mine. It's the spirit of St. Louis, the aeroplane famous for when Charles Lindbergh flew solo across the Atlantic, New York to Paris. And again, the holder for the propeller, I am missing that part, but that won't put me down because I take great pride in actually still having the 2x3 brick with the sticker Spirit of St. Louis. Like that. And there. 
2 by 3, or 2 by 8. Inverted slopes like that. Now this is going to look funny, but I have to do like this. Because this is where the holder to the propeller would be sitting. Now we need the part below the tail, like that, and also this one, there we go, there we go, so please. We have it. And the cockpit. Right. And now we've got the fuselage. Some more inver inverted slopes and putting on the wings. Now we just need tail. Also, this piece. I was actually quite surprised that I still had that. I even managed to find the old white Technic cross axle. There, we almost have it. We just need the holder for the propeller. Spirit of St. Louis from 1976 59 parts because so many plates and the last one being the Dumber lorry from 1976 only 27 parts and again a part missing because this hinge, I only got half. The main part is missing. And where that has gone, well, beats me. But still, we can make the front part. There we have it, the front part. And some of the back part. Now, these, again, fond memories. Only thing I can say is once you have put this what do you call it the bed of the truck or the well I don't know if you're a seven-year-old boy playing with this 
in your room. These are neither sand nor waterproof. They will make a mess on your carpet and make your mum quite angry. So we just need need to put it together. So three small sets for this throwback Thursday. The six six zero from nineteen seventy five. The Spirit of St. Louis six six one from nineteen seventy six. And the Dumba Lorry six six two from 1976. I will return with a new video next Thursday and hopefully with an update on the missing parts. Hope you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye!